Hi guys and welcome back to GDP's Crafty Journeys. Today I'm going to show you my floor journal that I have made for the design team that I am on in the Newbie Junk Journal Makers uh, group within Facebook. Melody Huey is the admin there and she has digital kits that she sells so you need to check those out if you are into those. Um, they're at MelodyMade.com and they're very reasonable and she does a fabulous job they're all very gorgeous the one uh, that the design team had to work with this month was her flora uh, digital kit so it's a flora or flora culture flora culture journal so i'm going to show you what i came up with i just did a small paper bag journal because i'd never done a paper bag journal and i wanted to i thought it would be a lot of fun i made it with three paper bags um, and what I did here is I sewed some uh, buttons that I've had from a very long time. I think they were my mom's. But I liked the purple in them and I kind of thought it brought out uh, the dried flowers that I have here. And uh, I uh, punched holes with my crocodile and then I sewed those buttons in with some embroidery thread. Um, here the bottom of the paper bag. I cut into the very bottom of it and made a window and then I took these dried flowers and I put them in a sandwich bag, sealed them and then I uh, put it inside that window and I left enough edge on the sandwich bag so that I could glue it onto the bag itself. And then to add it uh, some extra uh, holding for it, I took this really thick ribbon and um, I don't know if you call it an embroidery ribbon or what, but it's just really thick. And so I outlined that window and glued that down with some Fabri-Tac. Um, then I also have a um, brown fuzzy velour button there. And this ribbon decided to fray right there. And I thought it looked really cool, so I left it. I did not cut it off. And then this part of the paper is actually part of... The digital kit, I just took it and I glued it onto the, the paper bag and then I distressed it some more because I wanted it to be darker. I also printed this kit out on parchment paper because I wanted it to be a little bit darker. Um, I mean, it's already, you know, dark because it's got the, you know, like it's a floral, like outdoorsy type deal, but I just wanted it to be darker. So that's what I did with the first page first part of the bag and then on the other side here I have a tuck spot that I distressed and I put in some coffee dyed papers that I have which I thought it turned out really cool how there's just a little circle in the middle and then the next page is these three butterflies I actually glued them all together in a tier and uh, glued them all down right through here I distressed part of the bag and these butterflies actually came from uh, from the Dollar Tree and there's 33 in a pack at least at my store they were there and I scooped them up because they were really really pretty uh, and so then when I did that I have a tuck spot right here that you can pull out these two tags I may mean, have two black tags in there with some eyelash lace and so they go in the middle of all these butterflies. And then I made tabs for the three middle pages in here so that you can flip flip the pages with them if you want. And also gave a little extra uh, decorative touch. It's like a mesh washi. And then right here you can open it up. There's a pocket from the top of the paper bag where you normally would open and put things in, in a paper bag. And I've got a little squirrel and I distressed the edges and inside I stapled some of Melody's digital kit as well again so that you can draw and journal make notes and whatnot whatever you want to do and then on the back there's like a grid so you can draw or do whatever you want with that and that slides in really easy and it, it stays in there nice and tight it fits perfect so I'm not afraid of it falling out because it, it fits very snug I left this blank with Melody's digital kit again, glued to the paper bag um, in case somebody wanted to put something there. This again is her digital kit and um, you can journal here. I also did do some more um, distress ink over here. 
uh, two more of those butterflies from the uh, die cuts I showed you just a second ago and more of the um, mesh washi and then I went ahead and this I did uh, tie it because this was a little bit looser than the other and I don't have as much in it so I was afraid of it falling out but the, it goes all the way through the bag at the top of the bag like you would normally put in a lunch bag that's the top of it and then here I've got um, two-sided tuck spot pocket thing you want to say and here is um, uh, a card that you can journal on and I put some more of that mesh there but it's actually the part that I peeled off of the part that sticks so I just saved it and I put some washi and I distressed and then on the other side I've got another card and I put like a little uh, embellishment there uh, that's got like a little hole they came with little holes there and I put a little bit of uh, the uh, eyelash lace there I am like an eyelash lace fan big time so you can use that and uh, it slides back in there like I said it's all the way through so you can add more stuff if you want but like I said since it was just a little bit in there it's a little bit looser because it's not as tight with as much stuff in it so and then right here I made a clip it was just one of those hair clips that you can buy in the uh, section for styling hair it's one of those big old clips like that I plan to work on altering these in a uh, better fashion um, right there's like little holes in the front so I pulled the eyelash lace through those little tiny holes with the needle um, but I'm gonna come up with some other ideas to uh, use these for clips because they're nice and big um, and I use that to hold this tuck spot with the tag that is also from Melody's digital kit you can journal there you can journal on the back I took some distress inks with this mesh and put some dots on it to give it some added depth and texture um, I did it right here with more distress inks and this is her digital kit as well and then I put some eyelash lace a flower and some fabric so I've got that and like I said I'm clipping that on so that I make sure it stays over here I have a fabric belly band that I used another um, card to journal on I got some lines here and you can journal on the back we've distressed it I did another like one of these little medallion thingies that's got a hole in it and I tied eyelash lace through it um, like I said a fanatic eyelash lace everywhere and then it gets all caught and hung up and <laughs> I just can't help but I just love it and another tab uh, with the uh, mesh washi and this opens up I have it empty and I wanted to leave some things for people to put their own items in because uh, you know somebody might want to add something of their own so I didn't want to take up every single little spot but that's a nice spot to put more things right here you can uh, put a picture or whatever you would like to put there this is a die cut that I did it's real shiny and I distressed this a bit as well um, this is more of Melody's digital kit right here uh, and here this lace that I made a tag with and frayed the edges of this ribbon and so there's a tuck spot right here goes in right here actually and then this is part of her digital kit as well I just added some extra distressing to it and threw some eyelash lace behind it this was actually the bottom of the bag here on this end but I didn't open it here like I did on these other two pockets I left just this little tuck spot right here for it it's something different just to mix it up and then right here I have one of those little medallion like charm thingies or it's like a little it's like a sticker but it's like a little medallion looking thing and it's got they have holes in them so that I can uh, to make a tag and I use the um, eyelash lace there and then I also have a die cut underneath it to give it a little bit more depth so I thought that was really cool and I really love this paper it was really thick so I tore it um, I think I might go back and try to darken this up a bit so that it's not um, as glaring off the page I think that's what I might do with it I'm not for sure I don't think I'm gonna leave it that way everything else is so dark 
Um, and then here is a piece of washi that I used. Uh, this is actually from her digital kit melodies and then this as well the lace portion of it and I did some distressing with the dots again from the mesh and the ribbon frayed and then in the back here is the last pocket and in it is a little notepad and I did some distressing on it and it is from Melody's digital kit it actually looked like this originally I was gonna put some more distressing on that side and I actually forgot to before I filmed but uh, you open it up and I have some of her papers in it this is a little digital kit piece that was a stamp and I tore it and this is from a uh, post-it note that's from her digital kit that's that paper you see right next to me we just talked about Another piece of her digital kit there and there. And uh, so that's what I did with that. I made that little notebook and it fits in here really well. And that's it. That's, that's it in a nutshell. Um, so it looks really nice at the top. I like how it looks through there with the tabs. I love those buttons. Um, love my dried flowers. It looks nice from right there in the front and the back. That's her digital kit as well. And I also added some depth with to it with uh, the distress inks. And uh, it was just a really fun, beautiful digital kit to work with. And this is my first paper paper bag one I've done. And I really like like it. Once I started doing it, I was just like, what am I going to do? I don't I don't, don't get how they, everybody does these. But I figured it out. And I love it, and I hope you loved it too. And I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell. And don't forget that life is a journey and not a destination. And until the next time we meet, thank you peeps. And you guys have a wonderful crafty day. Thanks guys. Bye.